All right, so welcome to another episode of uh, Camaro Restoration. And as you can see, the car is still there. Uh, I haven't done a lot to the car, but I've been working on uh, the subframe and working on some of the parts. And today we're going to clean the subframe, try to get all that grease and grime off there from uh, 43 years of use. And I can tell you that this thing's pretty dirty. I'll show you some before and after pictures, but let's get into it. Let's see if we can get this thing clean. All right, so uh, I have had all these parts soaking for about a week and i've been rotating them around in that degreaser and spraying them down with oven cleaner uh, because that is apparently the thing that works the best for uh removing this kind of stuff i'm gonna grease let's see what we got outside ah looky there a subframe it's the kind of thing that makes the neighbors and the wife real happy uh, but I've got the subframe out here on sawhorses, and it's actually a pretty nice day. It's about 50 degrees, and uh, I got Jake. Jake, you gonna help? You gonna help, buddy? I don't know if he's gonna help, but uh, anyways, let's take a close look at this thing before I uh, spray it down, and then uh, we'll get into pressure washing this thing and see if we can clean it up. All right, so over here on this side, um, not too bad. Not a lot of stuff there, a little bit funk there. And uh, nothing too too bad on this side, obviously the transmission cross member. Don't mind me, Jake. <laughs> he always does that. And then obviously the uh, engine cross member, and there's some pretty good stuff right there and all along there, all over there. And not too bad on, uh, on this side either. A little bit more than the other side, but I'm thinking that stuff's gonna come right off. So I definitely have my work cut out for me, but uh, I've got help. I've got Jake over there. You know, good help is hard to find. And you can see he's ready to go. <laughs> and there's the birds, of course. As soon as they hear me start filming, there's birds in the background. But uh, anyways, uh, got my work cut out for me. No doubt about that. But uh, let's get this thing sprayed down. Let's see what we can do. Let's get into it. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention is uh, in that bucket with all the parts soaking is this uh, oil eater cleaner degreaser and uh, about 10 bucks a gallon on Amazon and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. It did a great job. All right, so here's what we're going to be using today and I've always heard oven cleaner to be the best degreaser out there. Um, I've not tried this, but let's spray these things down and uh, let's see what it can do. All right, so I got this thing coated down. I'm gonna let it sit for about uh, 30 minutes and I'm gonna go get the pressure washer set up and then let's see what this thing can do. All right, so here are the uh, pressure washed parts. And what an amazing difference on all these. Now, these spindles uh, did not clean up very well. Um, I still got some stuff, to, lots of work to do on these things. Uh, but all the grease, all the heavy uh, pieces of uh, debris and dirt are gone. Um, everything looks real nice. These motor mounts, you can tell I've been working on that one a little bit, but these motor mounts have, uh, they cleaned up real nice. Pitman arm looks great. And I even hit these... Uh, hood hinges so there it is um, it, it took a while but uh, well worth it I'm gonna get these things cleaned up and uh, the next steps will be to get some primer on them pretty quick because they're see they're kind of just flash rust in there but I'll clean that up with a wire wheel at least get some primer on them and then figure out what, what I'm gonna do for paint I believe I'm just gonna do the pour 15 but uh, let's go check out the frame all right so here is the uh, frame and let me tell you it looks a hundred times better than it did that, that was just caked with oil. Um, thing, the transmission cross member uh, caked with oil. And of course, it's upside down right now because uh, I just did the bottom side a little bit earlier today. But uh, what a difference. Cannot believe it. All right, so everything on this side looks real good too. I didn't find, uh, I did find this little hole right here, 
but I don't think that's rust or damage or anything. That's just where they missed uh, when they were welding that seam there. Get the cross member all cleaned up real good. I don't know about you guys, but uh, that's some pretty sloppy welds. And I'm not one to critique when it comes to welding, but uh, man, that's sloppy. All right, so here is the uh, top side of the frame. And check out that cross member now. That thing really came clean. Really looks good. The whole frame really turned out nice. Um, got a little flash rust on there like some of the other parts, but uh, I'll get all that off with a wire wheel. All right, so I'm really impressed and I'm really happy with the uh, the oven cleaner and the pressure washing. Uh, it really did the job. Looks great. All right, so I want to show you guys these. Uh, these are the what's left of the body mounts. 43 years later, um, that's the transmission mount. So yeah. <laughs> Think that needed to be replaced? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. No, it's uh, totally shot. But uh, all these body mounts are um, in surprisingly poor condition. I mean, for a California car, as good as con good of condition as this car is in, uh, these body mounts were kind of a surprise. And I was really kind of surprised to see all the rust there. But uh, there it is, 43 years. Uh, I don't. I doubt these have ever been changed. And uh, they're rough. Definitely need to be changed out. All right, so as you guys can see, the uh, frame came really clean. I'm really happy with it, and I cannot believe that that oven cleaner, just got to let it sit on there for a little while and then pressure wash it down, and that oven cleaner uh, really did a great job. I, I had to do uh, the top side and the bottom side two times, so I sprayed it down with the oven cleaner, and I didn't film all this because it just would have taken too long, but I sprayed it down once with oven cleaner, pressure washed it, let it sit for a little bit, uh, sprayed it down with oven cleaner again, uh, let that soak in, and then hit it with the pressure washer one more time. And I did that on both sides, uh, and it really it did the job. So it, it really, uh, I'm really impressed with it. And I cannot believe uh, that there, all that all that crap and crud is off my uh, subframe. So one thing I will tell you guys is uh, plan ahead for something like this because you will be literally soaked from head to toe and you will be filthy from head to toe. There's nooks and crannies in that frame and the water just shot right back at me your splatter and grease and everything all over the place and I was just peppered from head to toe. Uh, so wear some old clothes, clothes you don't care about um, and have, if it's cold outside, have a change of clothes ready or something, you know, go inside, take a shower or whatever. But uh, just plan ahead for that because it is a really messy, dirty job. But I couldn't be happier once again. I couldn't be happier with the results uh, that I achieved today with the subframe. So that thing to me is a little bit more clean and a little bit more prep work, almost ready for paint. If you happen to miss the last video that I put out, it was uh, my buddy across the street, Shane. If you follow along with the channel, you know who Shane is. He's my neighbor, and he comes over here and helps me quite a bit, uh, all the way back to the Jeep build and now the Camaro build. And he's got a uh, 32 Ford Deuce Coupe, and that thing is just, man, it's awesome. I can't, I just can't get over it. So the last video I put out was uh, kind of an overview of Shane's 32 Ford and what he plans to do with it. So if you haven't seen that, check that video out. All right, so the next video is gonna be uh, painting the frame. And I know that I've ruled out powder coating because of one, the expense, and two, the inability to touch it up. And I mean, you can touch it up, but it's not gonna match uh, the powder coating. So I know I'm gonna paint it. I'm leaning towards the Pour 15, but I haven't quite decided 100% yet. So that's coming up in the next video. And I cannot wait to paint this thing. I can't believe how good it looks just with all that grease and dirt and debris off of it. And I'm really excited to get this thing painted. All right, really appreciate you guys uh, checking out this video. Like I said, watch that video of Shane's 32 Ford. It's pretty cool. Thank you for your support, and as always, thanks for watching.